Today on Focus Friday, we have an internet essential for any load shedding home. From our LinkNet range, we have our mini DC UPS, and it's a real game changer. As you can see, it's got a one year warranty, five volt, nine volt, 12 volt DC output, and with PoE 15 and 24. Charge everything from CCTV, LED lights, camera, smart devices, and of course, your router. So let's open it up, got the specs at the back. It all comes out, put it to the side, and here it is. Lovely matte finish, all cable. So let's start with what you would use it for. So let's bring in our router. Let's say I've got this home, I've unboxed it, and I want to use the device. So the first thing I would do is I would take the two prong plug, I'll plug it into the input right there, and I'll plug it into mains. Then put on the device, and I check my router to see what it runs with. 12 volt, one amp. There we go, so its power is 12 volt, one amp. Simple as that, put it back down, and I would take either my splitter, if I've got a modem and a router, both 12 volt, or I take a simple DC, one to one. So let's say I use the DC one to one right here, and it goes into my 12 volt output, so output and then input power, and my router is already on. And as you can see, it's got power right there. So simple as that. But now I want to add devices. So I can take my splitter, so I can have two devices with 12 volt into my 12 volt output. Or alternatively, I have a device that runs nine volt. So here I have an extender and I put it output nine volt right there. And I take it to my device that is further away than my router. And this goes all the way to the device and plugs in. And this will carry on running both devices. It also has 2.5 amp USB port. With the mini DC UPS, it has up to four hours of battery life. Of course, depending on the user. If the user has every output connected, it's going to be less. And if the user just has your router connected, it's going to be more. We have a LAN our power over ethernet ports, and it has a selector, so either 15 volts or 24 volts. So depending on your device and what it requires, you'll simply select 15 or 24, and then they are both 15 or 24. And those will go straight to power over ethernet if you're charging a camera or a device similar.